Guys, uh, showing you how to fill the stock, make it a little heavier. I got a six and a half creed more for my nephew. He's maybe 90 pounds. And uh, it's got a little more kick than I'd like it to have, so I'm gonna put a muzzle brake on and I'm gonna fill the stock, make it heavier, reduce some recoil. So what I've done is taken Daisy Steel Shot BBs and poured it in all the chambers here. And then I'm gonna take Z Poxy Resin and uh, it's equal parts one and one with some powder paint, black tempura paint, just for the color. You mix that up, one and one, one, equal parts. Pour it in here, I like the Z-Poxy because it's very um, viscous. It'll get down into everything and those BBs won't rattle. So we're gonna get to mixing now. Okay, we got our epoxy mixed up, it's super viscous. And then we just pour it straight in, wipe off any that gets on any of the plastic risers. Pretty easy cleanup stuff. And then you may have to reapply because it will soak in. I'll probably hit it with a hair dryer. It gets more viscous the hotter it gets. And you'll watch it bleed down into those BBs. Pretty good. This is an old luthier's trick for filling uh, inlays in ebony wood. All right, so I've got some here. I'm going to get some something to clean that off with. I'll just rub that those little spots off and that'll bleed all down into the BBs. It'll make it about a pound and a half heavier. You see it's bubbling up where it's getting down in there. So you see we're a, a few minutes in and you can see that the z -poxy has gotten down under the BBs there so we're gonna have to fill it, top it off just to make sure that none of those are loose when it's all said and done. And try and pop these big air bubbles when they show up. That should do it. Um, so that's how you fill a front end of a stock. Same same thing for the back end, but I usually put it in a balloon. Um, makes it a little easier, a little less rattly. Thanks for watching.